Hello. It's good to see you. Today, we're going to take a look at some of the stuff that I bought at Aldi. And if you don't know, Aldi is a German grocery store. We do have them here in the United States. And we have had the one here in my city uh, since about at least 2010 or so. So we've, it's been here for quite a while. And it's one of my favorite places to shop to get all kinds of grocery items because I feel like I, I think it's a good deal, especially these days with, you know, groceries and everything going up so much. And I love to show you some of the stuff I bought. They don't sponsor me. I just like shopping there. So when I do these videos, I try to do typically the crinkly stuff first. That way, if later on you're trying to sleep, you don't have these annoying little crinkly sounds that might be a little bit obtrusive. You don't want to have to listen to that. So I try to do all the crinkly stuff at first. And I actually have quite a bit of crinkly stuff today. I didn't plan it that way. It just sort of happened. Um, now the stuff I show you, it's not everything I bought. I will show you though, I have a few things I want to show you that are refrigerated and in the freezer. I will be getting those out later. So a lot of times I do buy other stuff, but it's in the refrigerator or the freezer and I don't get it out to show you. So we don't just subsist on chips <laughs> and stuff like that. But that's just what I have to show you. And today I do have a lot of crinkly things. I don't know what in the world. I don't know how that happened. The first thing I have to show you is some of the German food that they have at Aldi, and they have some wonderful stuff, especially if you like chocolate. Oh my goodness, they have the best chocolate. It is so delicious, and it's not that expensive either. I mean, it's less expensive than the stuff you, you know, normally get, like Hershey's or whatever that you get here. It's cheaper, and it's so good. It is delicious chocolate. It's so great. But we have other German items too, and these are so good. I love these. They don't have them all the time, just occasionally. From Deutsche Kucha, authentic German food. These are potato sticks, little hash brown style, little potato sticks. These are imported from Germany, and they are naturally flavored. They also have another one, and this part of the label I think is green. And the flavor of that one is something like Herbs of the Alps or something like that. This is the original, so this is just the original flavor. It's not a huge bag, but this was about $1.39 for these potato sticks. It's 4.41 ounces or 125 grams. Now here in the United States, typically we use ounces instead of grams because you know we just have to be difficult, but on our packaging, you're gonna see both. You'll see ounces and grams on there. And these are just lovely, you know, French just makes those little, um, uh, potato sticks. It's kind of like that, but the flavor is a little different. There's just something really nice about the flavor of these little hash brown style potato sticks. And these are an Aldi brand. You can see the little blue circle down there. You will see that on the Aldi stuff. And it's their twice as nice guarantee, which is the best thing. Because if you try this, like say you want to try this, and you take it home, and you try it, and you don't like it, or there's something wrong with it. If you have your receipt, you can bring this back. Not just this, but any Aldi item, you can take it back. Not only will they give you a full refund, they will give you another item in place of this one, a comparable item for free. So you have nothing to lose, except you have to make a trip back to the store, but I go there all the time anyway, so it's not a big deal. So it's a great guarantee. It's some peace of mind if you want to try a new thing and you're not sure if you're going to like it. That's okay if you don't like it or there's something wrong with it. Because of that little twice as nice guarantee, you can take it back and not only get your money back, you get a comparable item for free. So it's really great. So these are the little potato sticks. And I only got one bag because my kids don't really like them. I do, but I just got one. So that one's just for me. Now here is something I have not bought in ages. I, I, do you ever just have a thing that you like, but you kind of get tired of it and you stop eating it and you, 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 you pass it in the store one day and you think, I have not had that in, I don't know, a year or more. I should get that. Well, that was the case with this right here. We have, uh, that's a potato chips. 
corn chips from Clancy's. Here you can see the name of the product up here. Clancy's corn chips. Now Clancy's is an Aldi brand that you will see on a lot of snacks like corn chips, obviously. Potato chips, uh, their version of Doritos, tortilla chips, things like that. I love their corn chips. To me, they taste just like Fritos corn chips. The only difference I can tell, though, is that these are not quite as greasy. They leave that film on your hands. It, to me, it seems like the Fritos are a little greasier than these, which I, I like these because they're not as greasy. They're still a little greasy, though. We have this opening here in case you don't know what corn chips look like. You can see them there. Don't they look pretty? Yeah. They are uh, delicious. They're plain. They're, they don't have any extra, any other kind of flavoring on them at all. This is a 9.25 ounce bag. I can remember when these were 89 cents for a bag like this. Two years ago, these were 89 cents. They are now a dollar, I think they're a dollar 69 now for the same size bag. Another thing I like about Aldi is the fact that they always have, well, they frequently have new stuff that you've never seen before. They do seem to like to, they like to experiment with different types of chips, different flavors of chips, different types of chips. Some of them don't really appeal to me very much, but every now and then one will catch my eye and they have these up by the register. We have kettle chips and made in, uh, cooked in avocado oil. And these are apple cider vinegar flavor. And I love salt and vinegar potato chips. So I kind of wondered what these would taste like. Now this was $2.99 for this five and a half ounce bag. So they're a bit pricey for this little bag. But I thought I would try it. I don't think I've ever had chips that were cooked in avocado oil. But these are, and it says so in a circle. If you doubt it, right here in a circle on the side, it says cooked in avocado oil. It's very nice. And it's in um, one of these biodegradable bags, which is cool. Another thing you'll notice about all these stuff is you'll see barcodes all over the place. Ooh, look on the back. We have big, big barcodes back there. That makes it easy for the cashier to scan things very quickly. They don't have to waste time looking for the barcode. They just, I know the cashiers at my Aldi, they're, they're like rock stars. They just sing that stuff across there. They're so fast. Now, if you've never shopped at Aldi before, your first experience can be a bit jarring. I know mine was. When you go to check out, it's so fast. You really have to be prepared. You have to be Johnny on the spot when it's your turn because they are not going to wait for you. <laughs> They're not going to chit chat beyond a hello and thank you. That's about all you're going to get. But they will ring you up so fast and you put stuff on the belt and they will ring it up so fast and get it in the cart for you. And you got to be ready with your payment because they will want you to get your payment ready as soon as possible. But part of what makes it so easy for them to be so efficient is the fact that these barcodes are big and everywhere on the packaging. Look at that. Very nice. So I'm kind of curious to see what these taste like. I don't know, but I will. I guess I'll find out later. <laughs> oh, and this was this was great. Now, if you shop at Aldi, you know you look for this right here. That red sticker. Yeah. Uh, they had a bunch of garlic knots that were 50% off because they're best. Uh, you need, want to use them or freeze them by tomorrow. And that's totally fine because I'm going to make this with our dinner tonight. So these are typically $2.89, but I got them for half price. So they were $1.45. Now, these things are so good. If you shop at Aldi and you haven't tried these, but you've been curious about them, I say they are delicious. They are so good. Now, you do cook them in the bag. Just bake and serve. Just heat and serve. Bakes in bag. It tells you right here. So, these are from Love and Fresh. And that's what we see a lot of times on the bread. We have the little, the little logo here. The L and the F with the little piece of wheat there. With the little, making the little mark on the F. Lovin is spelled L apostrophe O V E N. So it's kind of like out of the oven, loving, fresh, fresh from the oven. 
it's just a little play on words and we will see some we'll, some more products with that on it when you're ready to bake these it's so quick and they are so they taste to me like something you get in a restaurant I mean they're really good when you're ready to bake them you do have your instructions on the back you preheat your oven I think it's to 375 Fahrenheit and then you're just gonna poke some holes in the back of the bag I, I place mine on a pan poke some holes in it stick it in the oven I think it's uh, eight or oh, six minutes bake for about six minutes in toaster oven oh that's the toaster oven for a regular oven uh, it's nine minutes you want to bake them in the regular oven for nine minutes but if you have a toaster oven it's six minutes um, yeah, these things are so good and they just take a few minutes. They're already basically cooked. All you're really doing is heating them up. Oh my God, they're so good. But bake them in the bag because they have all the garlicky, buttery stuff in the bag and you bake it upside down and it's so good. Oh my God, they're so good. Now I know some people don't like the way they taste. I've heard some people say that they have an aftertaste if they bake them in the bag. I don't my kids and I love these. We've never noticed any sort of aftertaste at all, but they're so, so good. Oh my gosh. I was going to have, I was going to make spaghetti tonight anyway, so that's perfect. So we'll have some little garlic knots to go with it. At half price, that's even better. Another thing that I like to buy there are napkins. Now these are personally my favorite napkins. These are from Boulder. That is an Aldi brand that you will see on paper products like paper plates, napkins, paper towels, um, also trash bags, things like that. And I will show you another item with a bolder name on it. These are comparable to the Vanity Fair napkins. Now these have gone up in price, kind of like everything else in my Aldi. These are now $1.99. They used to be $1.49. So they haven't gone up as much as some stuff, but they have gone up. This is a hundred napkins in here. And we, we use these for a little bit of everything. But it takes us quite a while to go through a cube of these napkins. But I was kind of running low, so I went ahead and picked up another pack of these all occasion napkins. They're two ply napkins, and they fold out pretty big. They're really big when you fold them out. Or when you unfold them. I wanted to make sure I got my napkins and my younger son asked me to pick up some pretzels he also asked me to pick up um, root beer but I forgot it I had to go out later and get that <laughs> but he did ask for pretzels and we again you can see we have this Clancy's logo it's an oval and it's red and it has rain uh, Clancy's written in here in white with a black outline these are the sticks. They also have the pretzel knots, but we typically, I typically will buy these. And this is a one pound bag. And these have doubled in price in two years, but they're still good. I and mean, it's still a pound. At least the package didn't get smaller. We have a window here that opens up and you can see through the clear window, in case you don't know what pretzels look like. Well, you might want to get an idea of how much salt is on them because I found that different brands have different amounts of salt on their pretzels and you can kind of look in here and see how much salt is on here. I would say they're comparable to rolled gold pretzels. Um, they're good. They're perfectly fine. I don't think I've ever in my life though eaten a pretzel and said this is disgusting. I can't eat these pretzels. I don't think I've ever had any brand of pretzels that I thought was unacceptable because I mean to me, pretzels are kind of like condiments, like mustard and ketchup. It's, you know, I, I don't really care. I can't really tell that much of a difference from one brand to another, except for mayonnaise. I do insist on Duke's mayonnaise, but, you know, if somebody made a dish or made something with a different kind of mayonnaise, I'm not going to turn it down. I'm not that picky about it. I will still eat it, and it will still be fine. So, yeah, these are good. We haven't bought pretzels in quite a while. I kind of quit buying snacks. I got to where I didn't buy as much snack food just because it's expensive and, you know, you, you can just eat a sandwich or something. 
I just kind of quit buying snacks for a little while, but I have a few here today. This is another item that has become very popular in this house for some reason. I don't know. Soup and oyster crackers. Um, now these are from Savor It's. And Savor It's is another Aldi brand. Appears kind of in this corner up here. They make things like their version of the Keebler townhouse crackers and um, Cheez-Its. Their version of those items will have the Savor It's logo. These are soup and oyster crackers. No saturated fat, no cholesterol. And these have been on sale. It's been really great. These have been on sale for 99 cents a bag. It's 10 ounces. Um, and my kids love to eat these just as a snack. They'll just eat a handful as a snack. Or they'll put them in soup or a stew or whatever. Actually, I just, I had some in the kitchen. And I just had some with a bowl of tomato soup. It was really good. It was like a very late lunch or a very early dinner. It's probably a very late lunch because I am going to make spaghetti later. So I, I picked up another bag and what I do is I bring these home and I'll just put them in a, a sealed container of some sort, like a sealable container. So this bag is not just sitting out and then they go stale. I just go ahead and pour them in a container as soon as I bring them home. But yeah, these are about, the, well, typically they're $1.25 a bag, but they're on sale at my Aldi right now for $0.99 cents a bag. I figure that's okay for a snack. I'll spend that. But I, I know I've gotten to the point with a lot of chips, like Doritos. They're $5 a bag now in most places, a lot of places. I just can't bring myself to pay $5 for a bag of Doritos. So I don't. <laughs> that was that was kind of like the the, the the line for me, you know. Five. I cannot pay five dollars for a bag of chips. I just can't do it. I won't do it. It's there's a difference between you can't afford it and you won't afford it. I won't afford it. I will not. I will not pay five dollars for a bag of chips. I just won't. Now this is in my way, so I'm just going to show it to you. It is a little crinkly. We love these little pizza crusts. These are an Aldi brand too. Look, you get three crusts. This is Mama Katsi's mini pizza crust. Now this is the original. They also have a thin crust, but honestly, I can't tell the difference. They're both about the same as far as the thickness goes. I can't really tell the difference in the thickness at all. They, it makes it look like it's going to rise in the oven, but it really doesn't rise at all. It doesn't. But they're good though. And, I don't know if you can, no, we can't see it. Inside of here are three little sauce packets, too. So it comes with its own pizza sauce. So you get these little packets for each pizza. So you don't have to have your sauce. So what I do with these, sometimes I'll do uh, taco night or something like that. And I always end up with taco meat left over. I will take those and make some little pizzas with them. I will just put taco, I'll use the sauce, put the taco meat on there, a little bit of cheese, and just bake these. And it's a great way to, re to use the leftover taco meat. And it's wonderful. And I get three little pizzas out of it, so that can feed them for another night. <laughs> so these are great, and they're good for quite a while. Like this one here is good until June 14th. So I can buy these, and they don't have to be refrigerated. I can buy these and stick them in a cabinet, and they're they're fine for about six months or five months now. But yeah, these are great. I like them, but yeah. They have two different thicknesses, the original and the thin crust, but I can't really tell any difference between them. So it's a nice little thing. They have that stuff over by the um, spaghetti sauce and stuff like that. They have those little crusts. And we have some bread. I have bread over here. Here again, we're going to see that Love and Fresh logo on hot dog buns. I love these. At my Aldi, these are 99 cents for the eight, the eight count hot dog buns. And we go through a lot of hot dog and hamburger buns around here. I have two teenage, teenage boys, in case you didn't know. <laughs> We go through a lot of all groceries around here. 
I just looked at my spending summary. I use um, my Amazon Visa card to pay for everything and then I just pay it off once a month. The good thing about that is I can kind of track where my money goes and I looked at it last night to see how much I'm spending on groceries. <laughs> it made me sick. <laughs> it made me feel sick. But I have to remember, you know, I'm, it's, two t it's me and two teenage boys, so yeah, <laughs> it's expensive. But shopping here helps. Shopping at Aldi definitely helps. Look at the pretty border up here on this. We have red with brown running through it. Now one thing you'll notice about all the love and fresh bread, this is different on every type of bread. Like uh, the hamburger buns, it's blue. It's like a dark blue, but it still has that same dark brown bit going through here. The little logo is, is just sort of repeated over and over and over the little LF. We have that up here and down here. These are great little hot dog buns. I didn't need any hamburger buns, so I just got those. And this is one of my favorite things that they have introduced in the last few years at Aldi. This is their Love and Fresh 40 calorie wheat bread. And I make a little sandwich for myself out of this bread to take to work every day. So it has 12 grams of net carbs and 7 grams of fiber per serving. And you have 40 calories per slice. Now a lot of low calorie bread is kind of small and dry. This is like a full size loaf and it's not dry at all. It's really nice bread. It's not dry and yucky. It's, it actually has a nice flavor to it. This is, I think this is a $1.99 in my Aldi, and it is, I believe it is 20 ounces. Um, yep, it's 20 ounces, so it's just as big as their regular loaf of white bread. And this is what I use to make sandwiches with. My kids don't like wheat bread, so I, I get this to myself. <laughs> this is another bread that I like. Um, thin sliced seed-tastic bread, jam-packed with seeds. Um, organic. Now this is from Simply Nature, which is another Aldi brand that you will see um, a, on a lot of their organic stuff. Things with fewer ingredients, no preservatives and stuff like that. This is a dense little loaf of bread. This is 20.4 ounces, but it's smaller as you can see, but it's very dense. And it's really good. It's, it's not dry at all. It tastes great. Um, I often like to make sandwiches out of it here, or toast, or something, you know, like cheese toast, or just regular toast with butter. I like it for that. It is 80, 80 calories per slice, I think. But this has this pretty yellow on it up here at the top. And you can't really read it, I just noticed, I've never really noticed this, but it says organic. But it says that the letters are white, so you can't really see them. But it says organic even up here. I think it's a yummy little bread. I really like it. And then we have Old Faithful. Oh, the uh, Seedtastic bread at my store. I think it's about $3.29 for a loaf of that. And then we have Old Faithful. We, yes, we have seen this loaf of bread. Not this particular loaf, but this type of bread over and over. This is the classic white bread from Love and Fresh. And at my Aldi, this is still only 50 cents. You can still get this full-size loaf of bread for 50 cents. And it's, I don't know how they do it. I think it might be kind of a loss leader to get people to come in. Like you can get the cheap bread there. I don't know. Let's look up here. Now this bread, the bag for this has the same kind of um, border on it as the hamburger buns. It has this dark blue. It's really pretty. And then that brown border going around. And another thing I like about all of their bread, all of it, each kind, the plastic is nice and thick. You know, a lot of store brands, their the plastic for their bread is really thin and it tears really easily. You can get holes in it and then wherever you have a hole, it's going to dry the bread out right there and makes it useless basically. But these bags, I don't think I have ever had a hole in one of these bags. They're just great. And it's, it's just a little thing, but it's just something I like. Now, their bags did get, they did get kind of thin there for a little bit, but they are now back to the regular thickness the way it was before. 
and it's just it's just fantastic so that is our Lovin Fresh classic white bread and this is what my kids use for sandwiches or whatever they need bread for and now I have a few items that were in my freezer and refrigerator that I want to show you and then I'm going to pop them back in there I'm going to show you the stuff I take to work every day. You know, somebody wanted me to do a meal planning video for the lunches I take to work, but I take basically the same thing to lunch uh, for my lunch at work every day, unless I have some leftovers of some sort that I want to take and heat up. Usually I take the same thing, so there's not really much to show you, so there's really no video to make. This is Friendly Farms Non-Fat Greek Yogurt, and this is my favorite one. The black cherry on the bottom and the raspberry is really good too, honestly in my opinion. They have strawberry and blueberry, but they're kind of bland. The strawberry is okay, but the blueberry is really bland and I don't like it. But I love this right here. Non-Fat Greek Yogurt. 110 calories per container, and this is really good. And in my Aldi, they're only 55 cents each, and the black cherry is so good. Oh, it is so good. I love this stuff. So I take either, usually I get just raspberry and cherry, and I'll take one of those every day. And I also take one of these. This is the little salad bar, and that's another Aldi brand, and it's a little salad. Now, I know it would be cheaper to make my own salad. I know, but I find that I waste less if I just buy these because I eat everything in here and nothing goes to waste. When I try to prepare my own salads, I, a lot of it just ends up going bad and it, I felt like it was wasteful and I don't really know that I was saving all that much money. So in a way, really, these, I don't know that they're costing me that much more. These are $2.89 each. So I, I will take one of these every day and this, and I make a little sandwich with that 40 calorie bread and put some lunch meat on it that is also from Aldi. And the sandwich I save for about 3.30 in the afternoon and I eat that because usually I go to an exercise class right after work. So it's enough to kind of keep me going without starving to death because I don't get home until later. So yeah. So this is what I do. Now this one, they have three different flavors. They have Caesar salads, chef salad, and the Santa Fe style salad. They have had other types of salads, but currently those are the only three available at my Aldi. So it has roasted chicken in here that's uh, seasoned with something. Your street corn, two types of cheese, and your lettuce down here. And it also has a little packet of little tortilla chips that go in your salad and a fork and it's all just self-contained and it's only $2.89 so I have this and this for my lunch and then later I have my little my little sandwich that I made with my bread and it's enough to keep me going and I also take my lunch my breakfast every day to work and for my breakfast I, I know it sounds weird but this is what I like to do I take three slices of that seed tastic bread and some grapes and that's my breakfast <laughs> with my Pepsi I know it's stupid but that's what I like and these grapes are so good they don't have them all the time but they have them right now look at these oh, these are autumn crisp green seedless grapes they are huge look at these things they are so incredibly good they're very sweet and so good I also had a container of cotton candy grapes but my son has already eaten them. He ate the whole, it was small, it was like this big. He's already eaten the entire container. Those are really good too. But these autumn crisp grapes are so good. And I ration these and I will take some in a little container every day. And I have more than enough in here to get me through the week. And I can have some at home. And you can get this container, it's uh, two pounds for $5.99. I never go out for lunch. Um, Unless there's an event like, you know, a thing where we all go out for lunch. I don't, I don't stop and get food. I don't, you know, I take my breakfast and lunch every single day. And that alone saves a lot of money for me. Um, and I also picked up some grape tomatoes. Sometimes I might take a few little grape tomatoes to eat as a snack too. These are from Fresh from the Farm. Uh, product of USA. These are only $1.89 for this little container of grape tomatoes. 
and these. Oh, I was very happy to see these. This is another thing they don't have all the time, but they, they have a lot of their German stuff right now. They have the Bavarian soft pretzel sticks, and these are imported from Germany. Six soft baked Bavarian pretzel sticks, and they are delicious. You take them out, you spritz them with a little bit of water, and then you have that large salt that you sprinkle on there, and then you just bake them for a few minutes, and they are so good. Oh my gosh, they're so good. They're nice and crunchy on the outside, but really soft on the inside. I was really happy to see that these were back, at least for now. And they also have the little pretzel twists, but we like the little pretzel sticks. So I did get some of these. So I'm going to go, now those have to stay in the freezer. Then I'm going to put those back in the freezer and this other stuff in the refrigerator and I'll be right back. And there was another item that I found in their frozen food section. Now in my Aldi, they have this little, like a little island, and it's all a freezer section, and you can slide the doors open and get stuff out. And they have stuff in there that they don't have all the time. And I always love to check that section, because it's always kind of different every time I go, and you never know what's going to be in there. They have this pizza. Now we've already eaten it. <laughs> but I wanted to show you this. This, this is from Mama Kotze's which is an Aldi brand. Full fluffy crust, rising crust pepperoni pizza. And this is not something they have all the time. This was something that was like a limited time thing. This was a delicious pizza. It was fantastic. Now, honestly, we're not a big fan of their frozen pizzas. I mean, some people love them. We've tried several different types of the Mama Kotze's pizzas like the ones they have all the time, and we don't really like them. They're kind of bland, honestly. But this one was great. It has a self-rising crust topped with mozzarella, pepperoni made with pork, chicken, and beef. Everything about it was great. The crust was good, the sauce, the cheese, the pepperoni. It was so good, and it was only $5 for this 30.2 ounce pizza. It was great. And I went back today. I bought this last week. When I went back today, I, tr I looked to see if I could get a couple more. They were all gone. They didn't have any more, unfortunately. But, oh man, these were so good. I think they do have a rising crust pizza, but it's not this one. There's something different about it, I think. But I may have to go back and just check and make sure that, you know, they don't have it all the time. But it was in, they were in the little limited time only freezer section, so... It says it's premium. I don't know if it's different somehow, but it was really good. So if you have an Aldi near you and you go there, I highly recommend this rising crust pizza. I don't think they had any other flavors. All I saw was pepperoni. So if you don't like pepperoni, that might suck, but it was really, really good. I mean, especially for a frozen pizza, it was great. I mean, I tried it. I said, oh, we got to see if they have more of these. And I remembered to look, but they there weren't any. I went all the way around, and they, they weren't, there weren't any. But that happens. Oh, and I have another thing to show you, too. Um, I This time of year, I don't find much on the Isle of Shame, the AOS. That Aldi has this aisle that has non mostly non-food stuff on it. And you never know what you're going to find on that aisle. There can be literally anything on that aisle. But this time of year, I find it's kind of a dead zone when it comes to the Isle of Shame. There's just, there's not much on that aisle that I really care about. So, I mean, I always go look, but I don't really find much that I'm interested in. But they did have these uh, apothecary jars, these glass jars. They had two types. Um, they had one set, and they're not huge. They had this one set that was just plain glass jars, but there were three of them. One was kind of small, medium, and then larger, and they had these lids. But they also had this set that was more decorative, and it was two jars, and I bought those. And here they are. They're all, oh, they're beautiful. They're kind of iridescent if you catch them right in the light. And they're, they're so pretty. You get both of these jars for $9.99. And I checked the Isle of Shame today, and my Aldi still had some of the fancy ones. The plain ones were all gone, but they still had some of the fancier ones. And these were perfect, because I needed both of them. For this one, you see there are little papers in there. I'm doing a thing this year, and I recommend it. 
I, it was a suggestion I, I found out about for, you know, for your new year. Every week, write down a good thing that happened that week or the best thing that happened that week. Write it down on a piece of paper and stick it in a container. And then at the end of the year, pull them all out and read them. And it might be just a way to remember the good things about the year. Because we... If you're like me, I tend to dwell on the bad things sometimes, but I thought this would be a fun way to remember the good things. So I already have two papers in here for my two weeks, and I, may, I put a reminder on my phone to do it every Sunday so I don't forget. And I, I put them in, the, I, I wanted something to put them in, and I said, that's perfect. Hopefully I can get 52 of them in there. I, I have to smush them down a little bit, but it has a lid, so it'll stay closed. Yeah, look how pretty it is. It's beautiful. So you get that one, and you also get one that is uh, slightly smaller right here. This one is perfect because I needed something to put my Q-tips in. I um, I have three bathrooms in this house, two and a half baths. We have a half bath down here on the ground level, and um, I do my makeup in that bathroom because the lighting in my bathroom is terrible. <laughs> So I keep little Q-tips down there. Well, Marty, our adventurous little new cat, has discovered that he loves Q-tips. Every chance he gets, he will get up there. He's not supposed to get up there, but he will get up there and get a Q-tip out and play with it. And he will get them one at a time and play with them. So I thought, I need something to keep him out of the Q-tips. I also had to devise a way to keep him from shredding the toilet paper. That was a whole other odyssey that I can talk about. I actually have talked about it on my other channel, what I went through to keep him away from the toilet paper. Yeah, he's cute, but sort of destructive at the same time. So it was perfect. I have a perfect use for both of these little jars. And you get both of these for only $9.99. And when I was at my Aldi earlier today, they still had some of these. Um, if you have an Aldi near you, you might be able to find them. The plain ones were gone, but they still had the fancy ones. And then I have a few other items here. Now remember I mentioned Boulder when we were looking at the napkins? They also have Boulder on their sandwich bags. They have a reclosable zipper seal. You get a hundred bags in here. It is perforated. You can see a little bit of a perforation here. And you just stick your finger in and you pull this back and it becomes a little dispenser and then you tear it off right across here. And you can pull your bags out one at a time, kind of like, like Kleenex or tissues. Um, it's a hundred bags in here. It takes us a little while to go through these, but sometimes my son uses these when he takes a lunch to school. Most days he just gets lunch at school, but because he, he's in a different school this year and he said the lunches actually are not too bad. So he... The school he went to before, the lunches were bad. He said, this is actually you have better options at this school, so he's happier. But sometimes he still takes his lunch. And if he needs a little bag, then we have these. And I have the snack size bags as well. And get a hundred in there. And I use these as well for my lunches on occasion, depending on whatever I'm taking. And aluminum full. I ran out of aluminum foil the other day and I was very proud of myself for remembering because this was not on my list. I I went against my own rule and I didn't put it on the list when I knew it. I keep a grocery list and I always tell my kids if we're out of something or running low, put it on the list. I didn't put this on the list, but I still remembered it because I saw it and I remembered I needed that. Boulder heavy duty aluminum foil. Now if you haven't bought aluminum foil in a while, it has gone up a lot in price. But I'm very happy to say that at least for the Boulder Aluminum Foil, and I do like the Heavy Duty because the regular Aluminum Foil has gotten so thin that you look at it and it tears. This Aluminum Foil has not gone up a whole lot. It was $3.75 for this uh, 50 square foot roll of Heavy Duty Aluminum Foil. And I have seen it as high as 7 or $8. Of course, that might be for a larger roll, but I'm not paying that for Aluminum Foil. I just... <laughs> I won't pay that. That's I'll just stop using it. Or I'll do like my grandparents had to do and I will rinse it and reuse it. Which I probably should do anyway. I do recycle it though. But it takes me a long time to go through a roll of this. I have The roll I have now I've had for over a year. So the empty roll. It took me about a year to use it up. 
but I did remember my Boulder aluminum foil. So again, you're going to see that name here on the aluminum foil. They also have Boulder plastic wrap, which frankly, I tried their plastic wrap. I didn't like it at all. I didn't return it. I mean, I used it up, but I didn't buy any more. It's, it sticks to itself and nothing else. Like it will not cling to anything but itself and it drove me crazy, but I used the whole roll before I bought anything else, but I will never buy their plastic wrap again. It was awful. I did not like it. A couple of food items here. I have our toaster tarts from Millville. Millville is an, an Aldi brand that you'll see on a lot of breakfast items like different types of cereals, grits, uh, oatmeal, things like that. These of course are made to be like toaster, uh, like pop tarts. And Pop-Tarts are about $5 a box for a box this size. These are only $1.94, so I don't mind buying these. They have no certified synthetic colors, so they're practically a health food. Now, I know they're not healthy, but I, my kids eat these on occasion as a snack. I don't like Pop-Tarts or Toaster Tarts all that much, so I don't eat these, but my kids like them. When you open this box, you're going to find that there are six little full wrappers in here, and each one has two toaster tarts in it for a total of 12 in this box. We have three flavors of toaster tarts. All I bought today was frosted chocolate fudge, but they also have strawberry and brown sugar. I think it's just brown sugar. I, don't, I was going to say it has cinnamon, but I don't believe it does. I think it's just brown sugar. But all I bought today was a box of these chocolate frosted fudge post, uh, toaster tarts. Yeah, $1.94 versus $5. I will buy these all day long. Absolutely. Oh, and this is one of my favorite things this time of year. Oh my goodness. If you like potatoes, you have to try the soup. It is so good. Oh my gosh. Especially on a cold day. Oh, wow. This is Deutsche Kucha Harvest Potato Soup, and it is from Germany. It's imported from Germany. It is this nice, thick soup. It's like if you took mashed potatoes and turned them into a soup. It's like the, almost the consistency of mashed potatoes. You don't add a water or anything to it. It does have a pop top, this big old can, 28 ounces. I would make a whole meal out of this one can. I don't need anything else. It also has um, carrots in it and leeks. Thick and creamy, accented with subtle flavors of potatoes, carrots, and leeks. Made in Germany, and it is so incredibly good. Every now and then I'll sprinkle a little bit of cheese on top, add some uh, crackers to it. It's so good, especially on a cold day. Oh my gosh. Sometimes I'll take some to work. I'll take like half a can, you know, because the whole thing is very filling. If I ate the whole can at work, I'd fall asleep at my desk. But it's it's so good. Oh my gosh, it is so good. And I had to pick up some pancake syrup. I have some frozen pancakes in the freezer and we were out of syrup. This again, you'll see the name Millville, just like we saw on the toaster tart. This is a light syrup. And it's, I mean, it's okay. It's, you know, it's all right. It's nothing to write home about, but it's cheap and it tastes pretty good. And I have no complaints. It's just syrup, you know, it's pretty good. So we have that. And I picked up some juice. Look at this. And we haven't looked at this in a while. This is from Nature's Nectar. That's an Aldi brand. And it's just white grape juice, 100% juice from concentrate. 64 ounces. This was, uh, I think it was $2.29 for this bottle of juice. And it's really good. I mean, I couldn't tell the difference between this and a store brand. I mean, it tastes exactly the same. It was probably made in a facility like Welch's or Ocean Spray or something. It's really good. And you see that it goes all the way up to the top. So you're looking at it like, oh my gosh, when I open it, it's going to go everywhere. It's vacuum sealed so that when you break the seal, it, it sort of goes down. It kind of expands. So you're not going to, it looks like you would spill it everywhere because there are no bubbles in here. <laughs> but it won't, it won't happen. As soon as you open it, it just kind of, it, it won't spill out. And the last thing I bought 
was laundry detergent. Um, I've been using this for years. This is Aldi's version of regular Gain, which I love Gain, but I don't love the price of Gain. And I find that this Tandle Premium Original Laundry Detergent from Aldi does just as good of a job. I mean, honestly, our clothes do not get that dirty here. We're not out rustling cattle or anything like that. I don't need a heavy duty detergent, but this one is great. I have, I mean, it gets stains out. I use it as a pre-treater on stuff. If I do have an article of clothing that might have a little stain on it, just take a little bit of this and put it on there and just kind of take an old toothbrush and kind of scrub it. It always comes out. I've, I've never had a problem. You know, it really does help fight stains and clean your clothes and it leaves them smelling nice. And it's a lot cheaper than Gain. This uh, bottle is 69 loads. <laughs> There's a joke in there, but I'm going to leave it alone. Um, and it's only $6.99 for this big old thing of it. $6.99. They have a version of Gain, Tide, and, and maybe Purex or something. I think it might actually be Purex. They have three store brands of brand name detergents, but this one is my favorite because I, gain, regular gain is my favorite, so. They also have this in another scent, but I like just the regular, just the original scent. And that is all I had to show you today. Walter approves of my grocery purchases. See, he has on his little Valentine's hat. I had to, I had to uh, decapitate a gnome from Dollar Tree to take his hat. <laughs> But it worked out pretty well. I basically had to cut the top of the gnome's head off to get the hat because it was glued to it. But I got it and I taped it to Walter's head. My goal now is to find him a hat for every holiday. <laughs> and I will just store his hats and swap them out. <laughs> so that is everything I had to show you today. Um, thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you have a great day. And I'll see you again soon.